Hi, I'm John Tyndall, and this is a cam glide. I invented this so that I could do miniature CGI photography. And it was very handy on that set, but I soon found out it was handy on all kinds of sets. And the reason is, it's incredibly quick to set up, it's very robust, very stable, and enables you to do everything from specialty shots to macro shots, just like that. In fact, we're doing a shot right now. So let's get into it. First, let's talk about the power supplies. Uh, you can either use a battery. These are common batteries that are available anywhere. And there's also an AC power supply if you're on the stage. Uh, four pin connector, fairly standard. Power the unit on. You'll see this little screen come up, which indicates the unit's running. Uh, and then you can simply use this pot to, to operate the speed control. It's like a throttle. It's a very smooth operation. Now, if you want to change directions, you simply hit this switch and the direction will change. Now, you notice that the direction didn't change right away. It actually ramps itself down stops, reverses itself, and then ramps itself back up. And that's actually a safety device. So if you have a very heavy camera on here, it won't be thrown off or it won't come off of your rig. Uh, next, let's get into some of the programming, which is really simple. You simply remove the plexiglass, touch the screen, and you'll see the buttons. There are no menus. It's all very straightforward. So the first thing you would do is set your start point. So I'm just going to do that right there. Now I'm going to move it down the track, and we'll set an end point. I'm going to punch that end point in here, and now I'm going to hit Q. What that'll do is it'll bring the camera back to its original position uh, and queue it up for that shot. So I hit start, and now it's executing the move. And it's going to take it all the way down the track, and when it gets to the end, it will feather and come to a graceful stop. Now what a lot of people like to do, rather than just doing the, the shot one time, they like to use the mirror function. So you simply hit mirror like this. And what that means is it will rock and roll between the start and the end point basically forever. So if you have a, a second shot on angle you want to do on a interview or even in a dramatic scene where you want to have an unattended camera running forever, you know, through some sort of foreground objects, you can do that with this rig and it'll keep going. So there it is, it's gone through the move once, it's going to go back and forth, and it'll continue doing this until we tell it to stop, which is right about now. So let's get out of the horizontal world here and let's get into the realm where the cam glide really shines. I've added an onboard monitor here. Uh, on a little magic arm. And a lot of people like to use this uh, because it, it helps you to operate. There's cheese plate all over the cam glide, so you can really attach stuff all over the place. So let's just try our shot here. I'm going to roll. I'm going to come through these wine glasses now. I'm going to just manually operate this as I bring it right up on through. And that looks really pretty. I'm going to reverse it on the fly. You'll see it stop, stopped. Now it's going to come back downhill. So even if I turn this up full and I hit reverse, it won't flip over. It will safely bring itself to a stop, reverse directions. So what I'd like to do is show you now how easy it is to put the cam glide onto a tripod. That bracket's on. So now I'm going to put the tripod plate onto the cam glide plate. Let's just take this now and we can set it right down on our tripod. So with the cam glide now mounted on the sticks, and now we're ready to do some cam glide moves. Or you can set it on a mirror function and just let it go back and forth as you're doing a rock and roll move, you know, through some foreground or uh, whatever. This is very useful in a doorway dolly also. But I'm going to switch to an angle bracket so you can do more of a pedestal move and sort of approximate what a Fisher 10 might do. And now if you have foreground objects, you can simply follow your action and serendipity will do some comp composing for you. It's also very easy for the AC to, to be over here. He can be watching this monitor as well. And if you have a dolly operator, you can be doing dolly moves down hallways and pedestal moves and anything you can do uh, on a regular dolly. But you can do it in a barn in Louisiana or you can do it anywhere you can fly this thing and you don't have the crew or you don't have the ability to, to get a, a real dolly. So as you can see, this machine is extremely happy on a tripod but it's equally happy on an apple box, or on the ground, or on a tree branch, or up in an attic, or an old barn. It's just a very useful tool, and I think you'll enjoy it a lot. Uh, to get more information on this, what you should do is, is uh, go to vidcamhd.com, and uh, they'll be glad to uh, answer any questions for you. So for the Cam Glide, I'm John Tyndall. Thanks for watching.